Good morning, students! Welcome back to Mathematics 9 Valenzuela Live Streaming Class. It's nice to see you again. We are now on week 8 of our discussion. Before we start, make sure you have your self-learning module, pen, and notebook with you. Are you ready? Let's begin! Our today's lesson is about Pythagorean Theorem and its application. At the end of this session, you will be able to prove the Pythagorean Theorem and apply the Pythagorean Theorem in solving right triangles. Let us talk about the history of Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem was first known in ancient Babylon and Egypt beginning about 1900s BC. The relationship was shown on a 4,000-year-old Babylonian tablet known, now known as Plimpton 322. However, the relationship was not widely publicized until Pythagoras stated it explicitly. Pythagoras lived during the 6th century BC on the island of Samos in the Aegean Sea. He also lived in Egypt, Babylon, and southern Italy. Pythagoras was a teacher and a philosopher. Pythagoras found out that for a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides or a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. In other words, the green square's area with area c squared equals the sum of two others. It is exactly the yellow square's area or a squared plus the blue square's or b squared. Now, look at the tile pattern. Count the triangles within the squares. The number of green triangles equals the total of those that are yellow and blue. Let us now prove the formula of the Pythagorean theorem. Given in a triangle ABC, angle C is a right angle and segment CD is the altitude to the hypotenuse. Prove C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. We will use the two-column form to prove the formula of the Pythagorean theorem. Statement number one. X plus Y is equal to C. Reason, definition of betweenness. Number two. A squared is equal to CX and B squared is equal to CY. Reason, special properties of right triangle. Each leg is the geometric mean between the hypotenuse and the segment of the hypotenuse adjacent to the leg. Statement number three. A squared plus B squared is equal to CX plus CY. Reason, addition, property of equality. Statement number four, a squared plus b squared is equal to c times the quantity of x plus y. Reason, factor out c from cx plus cy. Statement number five, a squared plus b squared is equal to c times c. Reason, by substitution. Statement number six. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Reason, product rule on exponent. And last statement, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Reason, symmetric property of equality. So again, Pythagorean theorem, the hypotenuse of any right triangle 
is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. The formula of Pythagorean theorem is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Other formula derived from the Pythagorean theorem formula are b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared and a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. For you to understand more the formula of the Pythagorean theorem, look closely to the given right triangle. Right triangle is composed of one right angle and two acute angles. In the given right triangle, angle C is our right angle, and angle A and angle B are the acute angles. The opposite side of the right angle is what we call the hypotenuse hypotenuse is the longest side of the given right triangle the opposite side of the two acute angles is what we call length let us now try to solve right triangle using the pythagorean theorem example number one let's solve for C. C is the hypotenuse of the given right triangle. Using now the formula C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, we have C squared is equal to 12 squared plus 9 squared. Some of you might think who is A and B. Actually, for the legs of the right triangle, even the position is interchanged, the solution is not affected because in the rule of addition, whether the addends are interchanged, the sum is still remain the same. We now simplify and we have C squared is equal to 144 plus 81. 144 plus 81, we have C squared is equal to 225. Extracting the roots both sides, we have C is equal to 15 meters. Therefore, the hypotenuse of the given right triangle is 15 meters long. Example number two. The missing part in the given right triangle is one of its length. Again, we will use the formula of the Pythagorean theorem. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Always remember that letter C in the formula represent the hypotenuse and A and B represent the legs. Substituting the given to the formula, we have 10 squared is equal to a squared plus 8 squared. Simplify, we have 100 is equal to a squared plus 64. Apply the SPE, we have 36 is equal to a squared. Extracting the square roots, we have 6 is equal to a. And by symmetric property, we have A is equal to 6 feet. The leg is 6 feet long. Example number 3. Given the two legs, 3 meters and 9 meters, solve for the hypotenuse. Using the formula of the Pythagorean theorem, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Substitute the given to the formula, we have c squared is equal to 3 squared plus 9 squared. Simplify, we have c squared is equal to 9 plus 81. And 9 plus 81, we have c squared is equal to 90. Extracting square roots, we have c is equal to square root of 90. And since 90 is not a perfect square, we find a factor of 90, which one of its factor is a perfect square. And that is 9 and 10. So we have C 
is equal to square root of 9 times square root of 10. Simplify, we have C is equal to 3 square root of 10 meters. Hypotenuse is 3 square root of 10 meters long. Example number 4. Given the hypotenuse 15 meters and a leg of 7 meters, find the measure of the other leg. So using again the formula of the Pythagorean theorem, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, substitute the given in the formula. So we have 15 squared is equal to 7 squared plus b squared. Simplify, we have 225 is equal to 49 plus b squared. Apply the SPE, we have 176 is equal to b squared. Extracting square roots, we have square root of 176 is equal to b. And since 176 is not a perfect square, we find a factor of 176, which one of its factor is a perfect square. And that is 16 and 11. So we have Square root of 16 times square root of 11 is equal to B. Simplify, we have 4 square root of 11 is equal to B. The leg is 4 square root of 11 meters long. In example number 1, the sides of the right triangle measure 9 meters, 12 meters, and 15 meters. While in example number 2, the sides measure 6 feet, 8 feet, and 10 feet. These are examples of what we call Pythagorean triples. While example number 3 and example number 4 are not Pythagorean triples. A Pythagorean triple consists of three positive integers, a, b, and c, such that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Example. Applying to the formula a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, 9 squared plus 12 squared is equal to 15 squared. Simplify, we have 81 plus 144 is equal to 225. And 225 is equal to 225. Another example, 6, 8, and 10. So 6 squared plus 8 squared is equal to 10 squared. Simplifying, we have 36 plus 64 is equal to 100. And 100 is equal to 100. Let's try another example. 3, 9, and 3 is square root of 10. So by substitution, so we have 3 squared plus 9 squared is equal to quantity 3 is square root of 10 squared. Simplifying, we have 9 plus 81 is equal to 90. And 90 is equal to 90. Another example, 7, 4 is square root of 11, and 15. By substitution, so we have 7 squared plus the quantity of 4 is square root of 11 squared is equal to 15 squared. Simplifying, we have 49 plus 176 is equal to 225. So, 225 is equal to 225. They are not Pythagorean triples because one of its legs is not an integer. But the measurement satisfies the definition of a right triangle. Let's have some activity. Identify if the following are an example of Pythagorean triple or not. 
you will be given 10 seconds to answer. Click the smile emoji if it is an example of Pythagorean triple. Care emoji if it is not Pythagorean triple but right triangle. And in love emoji if it is not a right triangle. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number one, the measures of the three sides of a triangle are 3 meters, 4 meters, and 5 meters. It is smile, care, or in love. 10 seconds to answer. Go! The correct answer is smile emoji. Yes, 3, 4, and 5 are examples of Pythagorean triple. Number 2. The measures of the three sides of a triangle are 4 meters, 6 meters, and 9 meters. Is it smile, care, or in love emoji. 10 seconds to answer. Go. The correct answer is in love emoji. 4 meters, 6 meters, and 9 meters do not form a right triangle. Number three, the measures of the three sides of a triangle are 5, 12, and 13 units. Is it smile, care, or in love emoji? 10 seconds to answer. Go! The correct answer is smile emoji. How about number four? The measures of the three sides of a triangle are one is square root of three and two units. Is it smile, care, or in love emoji? Ten seconds. Go. The correct answer is care emoji. Although they are not example of Pythagorean triple, but they form a right triangle. Number five. The measures of the three sides of a triangle are 9, 9, and 16 units. Is it smile, care, or in love? 10 seconds to answer. Go! The correct answer is in love emoji. Did you get it correctly? Very good. This time, we will now proceed to what we call special right triangles and these are the 45 45 90 and 30 60 90 right triangle pythagorean theorem can only use in a right triangle if only one side is missing and the other two sides are given in a special right triangle even if the two sides are missing we can still solve the right triangle First, in the 45, 45, 90 right triangle or what we call isosceles 
right triangle in an isosceles right triangle the angles measure 45 degree 45 degree and 90 degrees and the sides length create a ratio where the measure of the hypotenuse is square root of 2 times the measure of each leg. The formula of the hypotenuse is leg times square root of 2. And the formula for the leg is equal to hypotenuse over square root of 2. Let's try an example. Find the value of x and y. Always remember that in a 45-45-90 right triangle, that the two legs are always congruent. Since the measure of one of its legs is 8, meaning that the value of x, which represents the other leg, is also 8. To solve for y, which is the hypotenuse, we use the formula of hypotenuse is equal to leg times square root of 2. Therefore, we have y is equal to 8 times square root of 2. So, y is equal to 8 square root of 2. Example number 2. Find the measure of the two legs. Given the hypotenuse, which is 10, and since x is equal to y, we can use the formula leg is equal to hypotenuse over square root of 2. So, we have now x is equal to 10 over square root of 2. Since the denominator has radical sign, we need to rationalize by simply multiplying both numerator and denominator by square root of 2. Simplifying, we have that x is equal to 10 square root of 2 over square root of 4. Simplify x is equal to 10 square root of 2 over 2. Simplify 10 over 2, we have x is equal to 5 square root of 2. And since x is equal to y, therefore y is equal to 5 square root of 2. In a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, let's identify the parts of the triangle. The opposite side of the 90 degree angle is the hypotenuse or the longest side. The opposite side of the 30 degree angle is the shorter leg. And the opposite side of the 60 degree angle is the longer leg. The hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg. And the longer leg is the square root of 3 times the shorter leg. Let's try an example. Given the right triangle, the shorter leg is 6. Let's solve for the longer leg and hypotenuse. Since hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg, leg we have c is equal to a times 2 substitute we have c is equal to 6 times 2 simplify we have c is equal to 12 therefore hypotenuse is 12 for the longer leg we use the formula longer leg is equal to shorter leg times square root of 3 so we have b is equal to a times square root of 3. Substitute, we have b is equal to 6 times square root of 3. Simplify, we have b is equal to 6 square root of 3. In example number 2, in the right triangle shown, Measurement of angle A is equal to 30 degree and AB is equal to 12 square root of 3. How long is AC? Since hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg, we have 
AB is equal to CB times 2. Substitute, we have 12 square root of 3 is equal to CB times 2. Divide both sides by 2. We have 6 square root of 3 is equal to CB. By symmetric property, we have CB is equal to 6 square root of 3. Example number 3. Solve for X and Y. Since a longer leg is the product of the shorter leg and the square root of 3, we have 5 is equal to X times the square root of 3. Divide both sides by square root of 3. So, we have 5 over square root of 3 is equal to X. Rationalize. We have X is equal to 5 square root of 3 over square root of 9. Simplify. We have X is equal to 5 square root of 3 over 3. And that is our shorter length. For the hypotenuse, we have hypotenuse is equal to shorter leg times 2. By substitution, we have y is equal to 5 square root of 3 over 3 times 2. Simplify, we have y is equal to 10 square root of 3 over 3. And that's all. I hope you learned something from our discussion. To sum up our lesson for today, we have learned that Pythagorean theorem is a theorem attributed to Pythagoras that the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. The formula is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And the other two formulas derived from uh, Pythagorean theorem are b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared and a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. A Pythagorean triple consists of three positive integers, a, b, and c, such that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. In 45-45-90 right triangle, the formula of the hypotenuse is equal to leg times square root of 2. And the formula for the leg is equal to hypotenuse over square root of 2. In a 30-60-90 right triangle, the formula of the hypotenuse is equal to shorter leg times 2. And the formula for the longer leg is equal to shorter leg times square root of 3. You may now ask question. A question was raised from one of our viewers. Ma'am, what is the use of Pythagoras theorem? Pythagoras theorem is useful to find the sides of a right-angled triangle. If we know the two sides of a right triangle, then we can find the third side. Another question raised, Mom, can we apply the Pythagorean theorem for any triangle? The answer is no. This theorem is applicable only for the right-angled triangle. Okay, so if I was not able to answer some of your queries, you can ask your math teacher during your follow-up discussion. So for your home learning task, try to answer this activity. Thank you students for your participation and for listening. Keep safe everyone and see you to our next session.